How boring are QR codes? Well, today I'm gonna to show you a cool way to make it pretty so that it has some art in it. And yes, it is totally functional, even though it has some cool images in there. It's about time, QR codes have been around forever. If you are using Canva, you have the ability to make this and I'm going to show you how today. Step one is to go to apps over here on the left inside of Canva. And then when you search, just search for Mojo and it should come up right away. It's the only one. This is it, Mojo AI. And you're gonna say use a new design. Now, if you've never done this before, it will ask you to sign up for Mojo. Go ahead, use an email. It'll give you 75 credits for free. You won't even have to do anything. Um, I am going to go ahead and say Instagram Square. Uh, it's the easiest one, you can resize it later. But over inside of Mojo AI, over here on the left, you have three options. You have infinity art, vision art, and QR art. You definitely want QR art, otherwise it's not gonna make a QR code. So hit that third tab. And then over here, you're gonna go ahead and pick your style, whatever kind of style that you like. I'm gonna say 3D, and I'm gonna say uh, planners, I'm gonna say notebooks, pens, stationary and pretty woman designing uh, uh, writing calligraphy. So tons of stuff. We'll see what it comes back with. Now you're going to go ahead and enter the URL. I'm going to say pretty fabulous designs .com. And no, you don't need the HTTP. It'll figure it out. I'm going to say use a short link and create masterpiece. Now you'll see it said it used four credits. Again, you're gonna get 75, I believe, right as soon as you sign up for free. And creating a QR code only uses four credits. I think the other ones, the other tabs at the top that we didn't use, use two credits each. But again, you can play around with it. And whether or not you use the actual QR code or not, you still have used up the credit. Uh, you can't say, I don't like it. <laughs> Give me my credits back. Uh, it doesn't work like that. But all right, that was pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this over here. And this is our image. Is it my favorite? Does she look a little cross-eyed? Possibly. So we can always go ahead and try something else. All right, so I tried a couple things out. Got this. I also got this uh, ivy and green garden kind of look over here. So do I like them? Sure, why not? I like all of them. <laughs> you could just keep playing around until you get something that you really like. Uh, but you can go over here to share, hit download. I'm gonna leave it as a PNG. And then you can use that image in anything, uh, in your Adobe InDesign file, in a Photoshop file, in another Canva file, it doesn't really matter. Um, and like I said, you can resize this over here to any size that you want. Um, there's that other design and you could compare and contrast, see which one you like better. Uh, but they're pretty and they both work just fine. Now, and remember, if you're interested in Canva, make sure to sign up for my free course, Canva 101. I will leave a link to that below. I hope everyone's having a fabulous and wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.